So the third technique in the traditional long form is grasping the bird's tail. So it introduces a standard front stance into the movement patterns of the form. And uh, again, we have the idea of uh, clearly distinguishing the weight distribution and moving from 100% weight on the back leg to 100% weight on the front leg. Uh, here we have the mirror version of the square form of grasping the bird's tail. So you want to fold from the hips, shift the weight forwards, and simply rotate the hips and waist a little bit. And then shifting the weight back, hinging again from the hips, as if you're applying pressure downwards, and then using the whole body together as a unit, driving forwards. Okay, so here we have the round version of the movement. And again, you'll notice that all the movements are driven by the shifting of the weight and the rotation of the waist. That's where all the Tai Chi power is uh, meant to come from. So they say that the uh, feet are the root, the legs are the power source, and the waist controls the expression of the force to the limbs. So again, the orthodox uh, round version from the other angle, just to emphasize the use of the waist. And again, when you're training, you should be looking for a very fluid uh, mo movement style that doesn't stop. So it's continuous motion the whole time. So here we'll show the movement which is closest to the practical application. So what we're actually doing is setting a frame with the, uh, the leading arm and neutralizing uh, a hooking style of attack, a swinging punch or a hook punch. So what's important is that you're intercepting the punch with a very strong frame. So it's a relaxed frame, but it's a strong frame. So you're going to get that kind of quality from practicing the form a lot and practicing the internal strength exercises, the Nei Gong. So as you neutralize the oncoming punch, uh, using your waist to assist in the neutralizing of the punch, the, the turn of the waist also powers a simultaneous counter. So that's a kind of a Jai force uh, in terms of the eight main forces. So as you intercept, you simultaneously drive your weight forward at the opponent now, when you're training, it's sometimes quite useful uh, to go to the body and get a sense of actually uh, good geometry so that you can uh, move the person, your opponent. But in reality, you want to make it more of a concussive strike rather than a push. Now, as always, when you're training these applications, you need thousands and thousands of repetitions uh, to create uh, muscle memory and so on. And you also need to continually practice the advancing and retreating and trying to use the, uh, the five element movement ideas. Now here we're showing the lower part of the movement which is a low parry so it's a hooking style of parry removing your waist uh, or your body as a target and simultaneously catching and scooping up the opponent's attack. So you're not fighting against their force you're actually absorbing it and going with it as much as possible, just preventing it from landing on your body. And then again, using the uh, movement theory, the, the footwork to get inside uh, the arc of an attack or training the retreat step. So it's a very simple uh, inception. Now one thing to notice is uh, if the opponent does throw a low shot like this, it's quite a commitment to actually intercept using one arm and you want to have the other arm ready to parry just in case the shot does go high. Now the other thing, uh, as with the higher version of the technique, if we're going to practice, or tr is traditionally practiced, is the simultaneous counter. So as you defend low, you immediately counter high. Now with this exercise, if you can, you drive your weight towards the partner as a collision type of force. So what we're doing here 
is another traditional uh, application of Grassman Bird's Tail, which is where you're actually trained to check or trap the opponent's rear arm. So then you can move into grappling techniques or just prevent uh, the violence from escalating further. So a traditional method of practicing, which looks uh, unusual, is to have a partner throw sort of two shots at the same time. So then you can uh, really get a sense for uh, your jamming and if it's effective. So you want to be jamming the bicep. And again, it's done simultaneously. Here we see the low part of Grassman's Bird's Tail. So we've done the medium and the high version. This is the low version for intercepting kicks. Um, very good for uh, simple push kicks and can be used as well for round kicks, but you need really good footwork so you completely avoid the mature power part of the technique. So what's usually done is once you've intercepted, you'll pull the opponent back and drag them off balance. This is very, very simple but a good practice, particularly for beginners. Now here we show a final part of the technique, which is a really unusual and very dangerous and effective um, kind of footlock or, or limb destruction technique. So be careful if you do practice this. There's two ways to do it. That's the second way, I'm using the forearm. So if you're interested in Tai Chi training, either in person or online, visit 13dynamics.com. And if you're interested in Tai Chi internal strength training or Neigong, visit www.neilrosiak.com.